I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is a little bit of a sad day today. Today I am saying goodbye to something very important to me. Sort of. As part of tidying up and trying to make life a little bit simpler around here. This is going and I've had this bike a very, very long time. So it's a bit sad. There is of course a bit of a backstory with this which I will explain, but to anyone that doesn't know, this is a 1990 Honda Africa Twin, which is the first of the 750s for those that are interested. I've had that motorbike a very long time. In fact, from before I ever met Angelina, and it's, it's in my mind, it's the reason why um, we ended up together. I was fed up with London. I wanted to ride a motorbike around the world, I bought the bike and I was starting to set it up ready to go uh, and I was planning my routes and I was researching Russia at the time. I went to a friend's birthday party and I didn't really want to go but I did. Found a beautiful girl in a bar uh, who actually turned out to be somebody who was also at that party and of course was of Russian descent. So I was researching Russia at the time, she was Russian and um, we started talking. Never rode the bike around the world. Did find a beautiful wife, however. So I have fond memories. That particular uh, wife um, has actually said that um, some things here need to go, including that motorbike. What she didn't say is that I had to sell it, that she had to go. So it's going to a friend's barn where it can be stored for a bit until I can get the bike done. All sorts of things connected. What do we think? Uh, well, we have lights. We have lights. We have some choke. Oh no! Oh bless! Ha <laughs> ha! Life! Loose life. Oh, Jeeves. I was once told being an adult is slowly letting go of your dreams. And uh, I understand why it was said that way, but I don't agree with that. I just believe, I, I believe in following your dreams. Um, that's why we're here. That's why we're at the Chateau. And that's why this is going to a friend's house rather than being sold, because I'm not letting that dream go. I don't think anyone should let their dreams go. However, not letting dreams go, uh, it's going to need quite a bit of work. Believe it or not, this is actually a completely rebuilt uh, engine. And even the frame, the frame is perfect, because I took this completely apart on my flat terrace in London. I used to commute to work and back in London on this motorbike. One day I was knocked off by an uninsured driver who jumped a red light and destroyed the front of the motorbike. I then went about the task of rebuilding it all the way from the frame up, really make a good job of it and I did it on my little patio at the flat in London. But I never got enough time to completely finish it off so I just put it back together to be able to transport around and I've never ridden it since. Now, while I don't believe that being an adult is giving up on your dreams, I do believe it's understanding the fact you're aging and your limitations. Now, I don't bounce quite as well as I used to. And I've been having carting that motorbike around for a few years, never finishing off the last bits because I always said, oh, it's not a problem. I just don't have time to do it. Which actually, to be honest, I don't. 
But I realised the other day, the reality is, is because I just, after the accident, I've just been too scared to ride it. Um, and that's a really horrible thing to admit to yourself, especially as a bloke, you never really admit that you're scared to do anything. Um, and especially, not me, I'm not great at, that, at admitting that sort of thing. Um, uh, not to anybody else, let alone myself. And I realised that's why I've been putting this off. And you shouldn't live in fear. So um, the bike has to get done has to get put back on the road and then I have to go out for a ride. So I'm going to force myself to do all of that and get over that because it's a silly thing to be scared of and it's a waste if I can't get over that fear to have it sat around. I'd rather it went to a better home. You can always tell something that hasn't started in a while. All the condensation's just starting to steam off all the water. Right, let's leave this to run for a little bit, move the oil around. Okay, it's the first time I've ridden it anywhere and obviously I wasn't wearing a helmet or any safety gear which is why I stayed inside my driveway and didn't do more than three miles an hour. If that, I can jog faster. I just wanted to free up the brakes and all the rest of it. And this is going to get loaded in the van. Starting to remember why I used to love this. All right, my mate Dave and their little motor assist recovery service have arrived. This is going in there, going off to a new safe location. How are we again, Dave? I'm very well, mate. How's yourself? Yeah, not too bad. I'm Thanks. A lot better if it's a bit warmer. Yes, yeah. It's not motorbiking weather, so it's definitely not getting ridden anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we get a ramp and we'll get it in? That'll be a perfect one. Mate. Awesome. Thanks so much for this.